Hey guys, in today's video, I want to show you how to make money with YouTube Shorts. I am now inside my YouTube Analytics dashboard and as you can see, I have made 6,346 US dollars in ad revenue on my YouTube channel in the last 28 days. Not all of this money came from the YouTube Shorts videos, but a significant portion of the subscribers on my channel are from YouTube Shorts. So YouTube Shorts certainly helped me a lot to grow the channel and I'm gonna show you in this video how you can utilize YouTube Shorts to help you grow your channel and increase your YouTube channel revenue. Ad revenue is just one small portion of the money that I make from my YouTube channel and from the YouTube Shorts that I post on my channels. Here is an example of an affiliate program that I promote. I promote many affiliate programs on many different networks, but as you can see, you can actually make really good money by promoting affiliate products on your YouTube channel using YouTube Shorts and using normal videos. So in today's video, I want to show you how to make money by using YouTube Shorts videos as well as normal videos and grow your channel. I have been putting on a two to three to 400 subscribers every single day using the techniques that I'm gonna share with you today. And I don't even post that much on my channel. You can see that in the last 28 days, I only posted two videos, one on the 10th of January and one on the 28th of January. So it's very powerful, it's very passive. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Before we jump into the main content, please smash the like button just below this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And now let's get into it. Just in case you're wondering what are YouTube Shorts, here is a very brief description of what they are and why they're so powerful. These are videos essentially that are less than 60 seconds long and you've probably seen a ton of them on both uh, YouTube desktop as well as, as perhaps on your mobile app on YouTube. And they are just going bananas at the moment. Look at this 197,000 views and this video was posted nine hours ago. 144,000 views and this was posted 14 hours ago. Uh, they are just viral and YouTube just pushes these videos like crazy. They are essentially a com com competition to TikTok because TikTok videos, you know, have been taken over and YouTube felt that they had to do something and uh, they've introduced this format of videos under 60 seconds. They're very fast to make, they are short, they're simple and they can get you results. Do I personally use YouTube Shorts to grow my YouTube channel? Yes, I do. Here is an example of the YouTube Shorts video from my channel, just one that I've recently published. Uh, this video here, you can watch it on my channel if you want. This video has gone crazy. It has had 212 thousand views 212 thousand views since it was published and guys it took me about one hour to make probably even less than one hour because the video is so short and uh, it's still getting about uh, one to two thousand views every single day here are the stats from the last 48 hours 1900 views so uh, just about a thousand views per day and it continues to get me views and make me money and get me subscribers every single day i've also most importantly look at this i've acquired almost 4,000 subscribers, 3,900 subscribers through this video that took me one hour to make. This is insane. Uh, my revenue is not stellar. It's not huge from this uh, YouTube Shorts video. Still $89 for about an hour of work is pretty good and it continues to make me money every single day. So eventually it'll turn into 100, $200, etc. But the powerful thing here with this YouTube Shorts is that I've acquired 4,000 subscribers who are now on my channel and they're going to be watching my future videos. My wife and I, we publish YouTube Shorts on several channels that we own. We publish them on all channels that we own and in some niches it works better than in others. Very powerful strategy. And I want to share with you exactly how you guys can do the same thing. I wanted to go through this slide just to show you your overall strategy that I personally use and that I suggest that you can try with building out your YouTube channel and making money on your YouTube channel. And that's the difference between YouTube Shorts and YouTube Standard videos, the normal length videos. Videos. With YouTube Shorts, they only take about an hour to make. They're very quick, which is brilliant. Uh, the ad revenue on them is not so high because a lot of the views that you can get on YouTube Shorts are not monetizable, but you do get some money. I showed my stats early on in this video and you can see that from about 200,000 views, I made about $89 and it does tick up uh, depending on whether my viewers watch it on their desktop device, on their mobile, how they find my uh, my video, etc. So the money, the actual ad revenue itself that you can make from shorts is not so huge. But the big thing is that with YouTube shorts, you can build your channel in terms of subscribers. You can add a lot of subscribers to your YouTube channel quite quickly. In my experience, on average, I get about between 100 to 5,000 subscribers 
per YouTube Shorts video. And that's a great way to make money from your channel by building up those subscribers and then uh, posting other types of videos. So what's the number one problem for YouTubers who are just starting out their channel, cannot get subscribers, do not know how to start growing. And YouTube Shorts is an amazing way to start growing your channel. In addition to publishing Shorts videos, you need to publish standard videos as well. And my experience with standard videos is that they take anywhere between five to eight hours per video to make. Um, my ad revenue with standard videos is between 300 to $5,000 on average per video. I've got some, of course, that sometimes make less. Some uh, videos make a lot more than these, but that's that seems to be the average. And they do also generate good subscribers per video. But with standard videos, you need to have an audience first on your channel before you start publishing those videos. And that audience then needs to watch your standard videos. Because if you just create 20 or 30 standard videos, um, they might not get a lot of traction right away. So I recommend that you, you do both. You create shorts to grow your audience and then you do standard videos to then market various products or just market your content to the audience that you grow using the YouTube Shorts videos. Step one of the process is to get a free InVideo account. So click the link in the description below and you will land on a page similar to this. The InVideo account that I'm going to show you how to use in this video is a free InVideo account. So go ahead and click get started. It's free. You don't need to upgrade. So enter your name, email, password, etc. Create that free account and let's move on to step two. Step two is to find your YouTube niche idea. You may already know what kind of niche and what kind of topics you want to talk about on your YouTube channel. But if you have no idea what to choose for your topic, then type in caffeinated blogger YouTube niches or just go to my channel to my videos and find a video with a thumbnail like this and I will talk you through some excellent wide open YouTube channel ideas that you can implement right away. Another excellent way to find ideas for your YouTube channel and for your niche and for your topics is to go to Amazon. Amazon is actually a really good uh, niche research tool as well as a very good shopping website and from here you can go into all on the left hand side and then take a look at shop by department and then open up these categories here on the left hand side because this will give you a really good idea on the types of niches that you can go into for example home improvement pet supplies shoes sports fitness and outdoors each one of them will have sub niches within it as well so for example if i go into um, like let's say pet supplies, you can see that there are pet supplies for birds, for cats, for dogs. So you can build the channel around dogs, you can build the channel around fish and aquatic pets, um, around around cats, around dogs. Perhaps you want to build a channel around garden. If you click on garden, once again, you will see that there is gardening, barbecue and outdoor dining. And the good thing is that if you create a channel about gardening, for example, you can become an Amazon associate, which basically means that as an affiliate, you can recommend products from Amazon and mention them in your videos and then anyone who buys those products through your affiliate link will generate a commission for you. So for example, if you uh, recommend, if you make a video about um, some cactus care or like succulents, etc., you could recommend this product over here, Garden Succulent Kit. And you know, this seems to be a really good product with good ratings and a lot of reviews. If someone buys it through your link, then you can make a commission. But we'll get to the monetization part later. For now, the main thing is to just get an idea on what niche you guys want to go into. Let's just say I'm browsing around. I'm having a look at pet supplies, dogs. Maybe I've, I've got a dog. I love dogs. I've got some experience with dogs and training dogs. So perhaps I take a look at this and I think, well, I do want to make a channel about dogs and you know, there are a lot of things that you could promote on the channel about dogs, right? There are dog seat covers. There are all these different toys uh, that you can um, talk about. Uh, there is dog food, of course, and everyone's got dogs. So this is a really good niche. And for the purposes of the uh, of this video, I'm going to use the dog niche as the example niche for how we're going to be monetizing our channel and how we're going to make money with YouTube Shorts in this niche. Step three is to find the idea for your first video and some ideas perhaps for your subsequent videos. The easiest way to do that is to type in a search uh, with hash Shorts and then type in the main keyword that is related to your niche. So in our example, that would be dogs and take a look at what kind of Shorts videos seem to gain a lot of views and seem to be popular and viral because 
uh, we're going to be creating a video that is similar to these. In general, I can see that for the dog's niche, videos of cute dogs as well as videos of funny dogs seem to be going viral. So they're going to be the types of keywords and the types of videos that I would recommend that you start off by making in this niche. So let's take a look at this one. It says cute dogs compilation, funny dog, cute puppy, shorts. That's the title of the video. It has had 41 million views in the last 10 months. So I think that this is probably a very good idea for a video that we can borrow and we can create as well. So let's just make a note of this and we're going to put this into a notepad. We're going to change the title slightly. So perhaps we can say something like this cute dogs, 2022 compilation, funny and cute dogs and puppies. And then we'll put hashtag shorts. Now we need to move on to the next step and actually start making this video. All right. So let's start creating the video. Now let's jump inside in video. If you don't have an in video account yet, then click below this video. There is a link below this video. Uh, go ahead and grab your free account of NVIDIA for the purposes of this video. We're just going to be using the free account. Uh, once you are uh, registered and once you've logged into your NVIDIA account, you can go into this uh, section over here and choose the dimension of your video to get started. Now for YouTube shorts, it's recommended that you do a vertical video because most of the people watch it on their mobile device. And for mobile device, of course, you want to have a vertical video. So choose this one here, vertical nine by 16 as the format. You will be offered a bunch of pre-made templates, but don't worry about that. Just go here to blank canvas on the right hand side. Okay. And then choose vertical nine by 16 and click this button over here that says make video. This will open up the editor in video is a really, really good online video editor. It also includes some footage that you can actually use uh, in your videos as well, but we'll get to that in just a second. So we are going to be making a video that is similar to this with cute dogs compilation. So we actually need to find some footage of cute dogs. You see this video is just 17 seconds. It's had 41 million views. So that's crazy. And we need to find uh, some videos which we can put into our own compilation and uh, and we're going to be making a similar video in video makes it very easy for you to create these videos. However, you need this initial footage. So perhaps we, we might grab two or three different videos that we can create into our own combination. And how do we find them? Well, a simple way to do this is to use YouTube search and type in this keyword, for example, cute dogs into the search bar and then use filters and then use under features, choose Creative Commons. So you want to find videos with Creative Commons. Now guys, Creative Commons videos come with reuse rights. If you choose Creative Commons license here from the search results, then all of these videos that are going to come up now, they're all videos that allow you to reuse them. Okay. So they come with a license that allows you officially without any issues to be reused in your content. Here is the official note from YouTube support. Creative common license gives a standard way for content creators to grant someone else permission to use their work. If you've marked a video with a CC BY license, you retain your copyright. Other creators get to reuse your work subject to the terms of the license. So this basically means that the people, the creators who created these videos, they want you, they give you the permission to reuse their videos in your video. So let's see which of these videos we can use. And here we go. There is a vertical video over here. Cute dogs compilation. Okay. So this is something that we can use. There is another one here. Cute dogs stealing food. There is another one here. Cute dogs can be funny and another finding cute dogs. So we can stitch these videos together into one video and create uh, our own video out of these videos over here. To download those videos, you need to use a program. I personally use YT5S. So if you go into YouTube downloader and then uh, type that into Google search. One of the first results that will come up will be this YT5S. So just open that up. Then you will need to search and, or paste that YouTube link over here. Okay. So just from that video, open the video that you want to download, grab this top part, go copy and then paste it in here and then click start. It will present you with a choice of a few different resolutions. So I want 1080p this one over here and then click get link. Now it might open um, uh, an ad window. So just close that. Uh, wait until you've got something that actually says the download button, click download, and this will allow you to then start downloading these videos. So go ahead and download uh, several of these vertical videos that you want to include into your compilation. And I'm going to do the same, going to pause the video and then I'll restart it once I'm done. Okay. Well now we've got all of our three downloaded videos with creative commons 
saved in this folder over here so we can now start creating our own video out of them. Uh, to do that, you can go into your in video and then where it says uploads, this is where you can upload media. So basically you can upload the videos from which you want to create videos. So go ahead, click upload media and then select those files uh, and upload them so we can start editing with them. And then all it really takes is just drag and drop these videos onto the timeline. So you can see that you've already got some default default scene over here, a default kind of a template. You don't really want to have this logo. So just remove that logo from all scenes. Okay. Uh, after that, you probably don't want this writing. So you can delete that writing as well. Just select it and click delete and it will disappear. Then you can click here, uh, something that says timeline. Okay. Um, you can see it, it tells you to drag the media here to start editing. Okay. So what we want to do is just go into uploads and then grab each one of them and just drag it onto the timeline. So let's drag that over here like this. Um, and it will tell you now the length of this file. Okay. So this whole file is 22 seconds. If perhaps you want to use the whole 22 seconds, then this is fine. You can do that. If you want to shorten it, you can do it from this interface, but I'm going to leave the whole 22 seconds. So I'm going to use this uh, option over here that says useful video. All right. And this is going to create our first kind of scene. Uh, so now, uh, on the bottom here, I can see where it says scene media one video. It also has got some default music, which we don't really uh, want to have. So we can just delete this music. So just click here, select it and click delete like this. Okay. And now we've just got this uh, media from the video. We can use this zoom to just zoom out a little bit and we can see that the first 22 or so seconds are occupied by our first video. So we can drag this second one over here like this uh, and then it says drag to add as a layer, which is okay. So we're just going to use the full video once again and we can see our media one and media two. We want to put them one after another like this. Um, so it will kind of snap where the first video finishes, the second one starts. All right. So we want it like that. And then let's do the same thing with the third one. So use a full video once again, and we will add the third video just after the second one starts. So it goes like this media one is about 22 seconds. The media two is uh, about 10, 11 more seconds. And then media three. Now just pay attention to the sizes of these videos, because depending on the resolution of the files, you might need to do this. Just drag them a little bit to fill them out. Okay. Like this. Uh, and then you may want to preview these files. So once you are happy with them, just go ahead and press play and see how they are. Uh, check if there is you know, good sound in this video, if you're happy with it. You can also move this bar here at the bottom uh, to preview how your video is going to look. I recommend that you play and listen to the whole video. Make sure that you're happy with everything on this. There is something here at the end of video three, uh, some kind of like a promotion. You probably don't want that. So we can trim this video off, see where it's just as it ends and go dark. Okay. So we don't want that. And just where this starts and the video ends, you can drag this file over here to make it shorter and sort of trim off that last bit. If you want to add some music, you can do that. If there is, for example, no music in your videos, you can just go into music. There's a lot of royalty free music that comes in in video for free. So um, you can grab any music you want. And then let's say if you wanted to get uh, some rock music <laughs> to have the dogs being cute to the rock music. Okay. You can just drag that over here and add that. So click plus and it will get added as a separate track into your, um, your file over here. All right. I'll just press control Z because there's already sound in this video that I'm creating. The other cool thing about in video is that you can actually, uh, it comes preloaded with some videos. So if you just go into video and you want to see what kind of footage they have, you can type in cute dogs over here and see if they've got any footage that you want to use in your videos. Some of it is going to be premium. And if you want to use that, those premium, uh, results for your videos, you may need to upgrade to a premium to a premium account. If you want to upgrade, you just need to click this button over here, upgrade, and that will open up this um, screen for you. 
Now to upgrade from this screen, uh, you I've got a special coupon. If you do decide to take this out, I've got a special coupon for you. So just choose whether you'd like monthly or yearly and click on get business. And where it says have a coupon code, I've got a special coupon code for you guys. It's CB25 that will give you 25% lifetime discount. So this is an exclusive coupon that you can only get through me and only if you click uh, to get your initial free account through my affiliate link below. Now you'll see that if you click apply from 137 per year, it goes down to 102.8 per year. Or you can of course just go for a monthly plan, which is with a discount, just $17 a month. Okay. Now guys, like I said, you can totally do this with just the free plan. I'm doing all of this with a free plan, but if you want to use any of the premium features, like using their stock footage, etc., you may need to upgrade your plan. Now, one last thing I recommend we do in this video before we export it is we include a call to action for people to buy something via your affiliate link. I'll show you an example of how uh, Cesar Milan's channel monetizes his videos. You'll see here at the bottom, there is a link, this one over here where it says shop Cesar's way over here and see there is an Amazon link. So um, he's linking from his channel, from his videos about dogs, he's linking via his affiliate link to his Amazon channel, uh, to his Amazon store, where he's inviting people to buy different things essentially after clicking this link in their videos. Now, you can do the same thing. You can promote products on Amazon as an affiliate. As an example, if I type in uh, dog toy, okay, you can promote any of these dog toys and earn a commission if someone buys from your link. So here I recommend that you include in the last maybe, let's say in the last five seconds of your video, you include a call to action for people to check the links in your description. Uh, very simple and easy to do. Go into text and type in add heading like this. And this will drop in this text placeholder for you. At the bottom, you can choose where the text placeholder appears. So I just want it to be in the last uh, probably five seconds or so. So uh, we won't see this text any earlier, but once it gets to the last five seconds of your video, then this text will come up. And all we're gonna say is just something to kind of invite people to check out the link in the description. So you can write something like dog toys, check links, in description okay and this will prompt your viewers to scroll through to the description below your video and check the link in the description and we're going to once we upload this video we're going to put a call to action and we're going to put your affiliate link into the description as well so that you can start earning money from anyone who clicks your affiliate link there's a bunch of other stuff that you can do with the video because in video is like uh, so powerful in terms of the editing capabilities that it gives you but i'll stop here otherwise this video will go on forever and now we're ready to go download and share. So just export your video. After you click download and share, you'll choose the format. If you want 1080p, then you will need to upgrade your account. If you just want 720p, then you can use the free account. I click export and export your video. Once your video has finished rendering, you can download it from your uh, area in, in video called My Project. So just click download and save that video. Step five of your process is for you to join the Amazon Associates program. Now you can promote any products from any affiliate network. Uh, the reason why I recommend Amazon is because they have so many products and it's quite easy to get accepted into the Amazon affiliate program and start earning commissions on any products that you recommend. But you can definitely promote products from any affiliate network that you want. It can be share a sale, it can be CJ or Commission Junction. For this video, I'm just gonna uh, demonstrate to you how to join Amazon Associates program though. So you type in Amazon Associates into Google and that will bring up this one, uh, this website here called amazon.com associate central. You can click a button where it says sign up. When you sign up, you will need to enter some of the supporting information such as your website or your YouTube channel URL. Now, before you join, I recommend that you have about five to 10 videos total on your YouTube channel, because this way you will be able to show that you are more or less established YouTuber who's published a number of videos and that are getting some views. That way you'll be likely to get accepted into the Amazon Associates program. See where it says here at the bottom, how do I qualify for this program? It does say that bloggers, publishers, and content creators with a qualifying website or mobile app can participate in this program. Then it says, if you're an influencer with an established social media following, learn about the Amazon Influencer Program. So basically, you can go ahead and sign up to the program over here and then provide your YouTube channel URL as well as uh, some commentary around what you're going to be doing and how you're going to be recommending Amazon products. Step six, 
Six is to upload your video and monetize it. So in your YouTube studio dashboard, click the create button and then upload your video. So all you need to do is just drag and drop that video. I'm gonna do that now. And while this video is now uploading, we can start creating the title and the description. If you remember in one of the previous steps, we created this title already. The way that I normally do this is I look at what kind of other titles have done well. So we know that this video had 41 million views with the title Cute Dogs Compilation and we wrote our own title. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste this because this title is basically already done. Uh, next, we want to, I'll just delete this default description that comes up. Next, we'll want to write a bit of a description. So generally, YouTube guidelines state that first three lines should include the keyword that you want to target. I'm just gonna write, uh, pause the video and write that description and then I'll come back to you. All right, so I've written this description here. Uh, you can pause the video and just check out what I've done. Basically, I've mentioned the uh, keyword and parts of the keywords and some related keywords over here in the first three lines of the description. And then what I've put in is buy the best dog toy here. This is where we're gonna put our affiliate link so that you can start earning commissions on any of the products that you recommend. And uh, to do that, we can go into Amazon website and we can search for dog toy just to see some of the best selling products. And if we scroll down over here, you can see, for example, this one here, Kong Wild Nords Bear has got 23,000 reviews. So this looks really, really good. We're gonna open that up. And now what we need is this bit over here. It's the product code. It will normally come from um, in the URL after DP slash. Okay, this is the product code. We're gonna copy that and then go into your Amazon Associates account. So when you registered uh, on Amazon Associates, you should have got your login details, you can go in there and go into product linking and then where it says product linking, product links. Okay, this is what you wanna choose. And then search for any product and this will allow you to create your affiliate link. So allamazon.com and then for, all right, enter that in over here, click go. Now you will see this result over here once again. And this is gonna be the affiliate link. So uh, let's click get link. And you want to choose this option over here, shorten URL with amazon.to. And this is going to be a nice looking shortened uh, Amazon affiliate link. And now we can go back into the description and put that over here. So now whenever someone watches your video and they um, click this link, they will be taken to Amazon via your affiliate link and any products that they buy on Amazon within the first 24 hours, you will get a commission for. Quite often what happens is they might click on this affiliate link, but then two hours later they might buy a sofa or a TV or a fridge and you actually get commissions on that as well because you've just referred the user. So it's actually really, really powerful. Um, even if you are only promoting a product that is only worth like $23, you can often get really high commissions because you're referring additional sales while people are shopping on Amazon as well. Um, once that is done, you can of course enter you know, more details into the description just to give it a little bit of SEO and search engine rankings boost. The other thing that is very important is to enter your tags. See where it says add tag. This is where you will want to enter a ton of uh, tags that are uh, similar to Cute Dogs compilation. So we want to enter our primary tag here, Cute Dogs compilation. All right, but then you also want to enter anything else that YouTube suggests. So Q.Doc compilation, to see there is like a year variant. So we can say 2022. Then after that, we can go Q.Docs compilation uh, and choose some of the other ones. Q.Docs barking compilation, Q baby dogs compilation. So perhaps you might want to enter some of them. Then you can also create a variant of Q.Dog compilation. Okay, so not multiple, but just one one word and then we can enter funny puppy compilation something like that and just fill this up you've got 500 characters so i recommend to put in as many related tags as you can think of and basically this is it your video will be ready to publish so go through all of the steps here and click uh, publish to make your video uh, public and publish it right away. After you publish the video, here is what's going to happen. We already know that shorts videos for dogs make a lot of money. So you really can make really good money by using YouTube's shorts in this niche. Uh, you can see that they get millions and millions of views. So hopefully your video should also get picked up by the YouTube algorithm and start bringing your views. Now, once they watch your video, remember we actually put in a call to action in this video that, um, prompts 
your viewers to click the link in the description, okay? So because of that, so let's just double check that. Uh, let me scroll through here a little bit. Okay, here we go. See, we've put in this awesome dog toys, check links in the description. So they will check the link in the description uh, and similar to how Cesar Milan does it on his channel, when they check the link in the description, they will click on that Amazon link that we're including. We're including that Amazon link over here in the description. Once they click on this Amazon link, they will go to Amazon via your affiliate link and that way you can make money in two different ways. One is through ads revenue. Okay, once your channel grows and you're hit the threshold for being monetized with YouTube AdSense, your YouTube will start showing ads so you can make money that way, but also you will make money through Amazon commissions as well. To make this model work, here is the suggested plan. I recommend that first you make five to 10 videos using InVideo. This is going to give you a really good knowledge of how to operate uh, the uh, whole system, you know, how to operate in video, how to download the videos, etc. After you've got five to 10 videos, go ahead and apply to Amazon Associates. They will most likely approve you because you will have a more or less established channel with some videos and some views on those videos. After that, go and start creating about 50% shorts videos and 50% standard videos. As I said at the uh, sort of earlier part of this video, your shorts videos are not gonna make you money but they can give you a lot of subscribers fairly quickly and they're very quick to make, okay? So these are gonna be your videos that are gonna boost your channel and give you subscribers. Once you've got that subscriber base, you can start making standard videos and standard videos will help you rank for various terms. They will also help you to earn decent revenue because the revenue that you can earn on those standard videos is quite good and quite high. Lastly, this is not a get rich scheme. Okay, get rich quick does not exist. So 20 to 40 videos I recommend uh, for you to make before you actually assess whether what you're doing is working or not. Generally after 20 to 40 videos, you will um, start getting some traction and YouTube will start giving preference to your videos over some of the other uh, channels that are just starting out as well. In my experience, it takes at least 20 to 40 videos be before YouTube starts taking you seriously. So. Do it, do not give up. This is an excellent method and an excellent platform. And if you want a full video that shows you step-by-step step how to start from absolute zero and create a YouTube channel and grow your YouTube channel and exactly how I did this, full of advanced tips, here is a free video for you guys to watch. Go ahead and watch this right now. But before you do that, uh, please smash the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much. Watch this video next and I'll see you in the next video.